Hello and welcome to the Spar of One special from Kolkata. As debates rage around coal allocation and power and retail as well, I'm joined by somebody who's a key player in both those sectors, Sanjeev Goenka. Hi, Srinivasan. Sanjeev's company, for those who don't know, CESC, supplies power to Kolkata. And uh, he also is involved in expanding his uh, power sector interests. And he also owns the Spencer chain of retail stores. Sanjeev, thanks very much indeed for joining us. We're seeing right now a very pitched debate over this entire question of coal allotment in parliament, dominating headlines. What do you make of it? Do you accept the view that the CAG took that these captive coal blocks were a mistake? Or was it necessary at that time? You know, quite honestly, I think if you are looking at power, you're looking at growth of power generation. You're looking at giving cheap power to the average Indian. You need to make fuel available. Fuel is controlled by the government. Right. So as a private power producer, frankly, if you want us to add uh, generation capacity, fuel in whichever form, whether it's coal, whether it's uh, water, whether it's gas, it needs to be made available through a process that's clear, that's simple, that's transparent. That is what we from the corporate sector would want. So what you're saying is that the idea of captive coal blocks is not a bad idea. It's just that the allotment procedure should have been more transparent. No, I, I think the allotment procedures were transparent. They were clear. They were based on a policy guideline which existed. The screening committee. The screening committee was, was procedure. That is the procedure that existed. That is what was followed. Okay. So whether that procedure was right or not, I have nobody to comment on. You were amongst those who had applied for coal blocks during that time. You know, every power producer had applied. Had applied. Every power producer wanted uh, fuel. Right. Uh, and you got a block? We got half a block, unfortunately, just half. You were telling me in Jharkhand. In Jharkhand. And work has started on that yet? Uh, work is, uh, well, it has, uh, the exploration is on completely, but no, the mining work hasn't uh, begun. Let me challenge you a little bit on the procedure, uh, Sanjeev, because uh, one of those who had questioned it at that time was the then coal secretary, P.C. Parak, who had written to the Prime Minister's office, which was handling the coal ministry, saying that the screening committee system was actually pretty opaque because everybody would come with whatever uh, coal block or whatever interest they were pursuing, uh, the minutes don't reflect why block A was chosen over B, which is why he said it is important to shift to a more transparent system, a more a bidding based system. So w like at that time, was there a, 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 any experience of that, that the screening committee procedure you know, had flaws which needed to be fixed? Frankly. As corporates, we don't get involved with how the government decides its procedures okay. and what goes behind uh, those decisions. All we know is that there is a particular procedure to be followed. And as far as the corporate power producers, private power producers are concerned, the procedure to be followed was the screening committee. But would you have preferred a, a switch to a bidding or an auction based system? Would that have been more transparent? You know, to us, it's not about being more transparent or uh, le I mean, this being better or that being worse because we are in no position to really judge that. I thought that transparency is key to what, what you would want and what all of you have been you know, fighting frankly, for. Frankly, what we want is quick and efficient allocation of the resources. Right. Uh, we are very happy to be judged uh, on our merits because we are not asking for anything out of turn. We are not asking for anything which is not merit-based. Mm. So we are very clear on that. So whatever the system is, if merit is there, you will figure. So it should be a merit-based system? It, it should, should be, be transparent? A, it should be a merit-based system. And the screening committee, to the best of my knowledge, uh, asked for data on uh, the background, etc., etc. I'm not sure exactly what. But there was a certain procedure that they followed. Right. And we were told that they uh, applied that yardstick. But we have no basis of knowing what happened inside that meeting. Okay. So there was 
some uh, yardsticks that may have been applied to grant blocks to those who are established players, like yourself and several others, like the Tatas, the Adanis, and the Torrents, and so on. But a whole lot of other players also got blocked, uh, the reasons for which and the background for which remains opaque. And I think that's one of the, the, the points that the CAG has made. Uh, but moving away from that, I wanted to ask you also about the logic behind captive coal allocation, which was that it was meant to generate, amongst other things, as you said, cheap power. But in none of the terms of the actual allotment did it specify to the power producer at what rate he would sell the power. So there have also been instances of people who have got captive coal but are selling it at market rate. Does that need to be fixed as well? You know, I think there needs to be a certain, you, you have to have one of uh, two policies. Either it's completely market-based or it's cost-based. So to have a mixture of the two doesn't make sense. Right. So either the entire system is cost-based or the entire system is market-based and follow whichever way. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.